Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna do is a prediction for the second round matchups. Um, a lot of really good matchups. All the old heads are eliminated. They're out of here. KD, LeBron, Kawhi, even though he barely played, they're all out. So the new heads, the new guys, the new generations here. So I'm gonna say who is gonna win each matchup and how many games does it take? So one I'm really excited for, the New York Knicks versus the Indiana Pacers. Um, the Knicks making it to the second round for, they did it last year, they're doing it this year. This is one of the most successful iterations of the Knicks, probably the most successful since Patrick Ewing. Um, Jalen Brunson has been balling. He's leading the league in the postseason right now in scoring, I think 30, 35 and a half points per game. Um, the Pacers, they beat the Bucks. And if Giannis played, I don't think the Pacers would have beat the Bucks, but still accomplishment to them. They're having a very successful season as well. I think with the Knicks and the Pacers, the Knicks, they are, their chemistry so put together Jalen Brunson is playing so well I think the Knicks win this series in six games I think the Pacers take all these games in New York and make it like a thing maybe it's 2-2 but I think the Knicks win the, the next two games and close this thing out in six you know the Pacers will you know have one of these games with the Knicks fans like oh my gosh oh my gosh what's going on but I think the Knicks are a better team and I think the New York Knicks should make it to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since they played Indiana in the conference final. So, hey, Knicks and six. Thunder versus the Mavericks is also a very interesting series. I mean, Luka Doncic, he didn't play up to par. Like, he played well last series, but he had games where he didn't play as well because he had an injury or whatever. And, you know, Shea, Chet, and them boys, it's their first time being deep in the postseason or even being in the postseason at all. They have not a lot of postseason or, you know, big game experience versus the Mavericks who have a team. Luka and Kyrie have a lot of that experience. The Thunder not going to roll over like the Clippers did. Uh, Shea is better than whatever the Clippers put out there. Uh, I think their team is much better. The atmosphere that the uh, Thunder have at home is outstanding. But I do pick the Dallas Mavericks to win this in seven games. I have a feeling that Luka just has an epic series. And I think he is going to be a back and forth series. It's not going to be an easy for any team. But I think the Dallas Mavericks make it to the conference finals and win in seven. The next series we have is the Boston Celtics versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. The team that won between the Cavs and the Magic should be the team that just gets fed to the Celtics. The Celtics just blow them out. But I don't know. The Celtics have, they're not frauds, but they have like those are their moments where they're not operating at peak efficiency, right? And then Przingis also has that injury as well. So since they're not, you know, I can always see the Celtics are going to do something and have a game where they're like, what is happening? And they're going to get blown out. Um, Cleveland, they won every home game. So in that last series, I think Cleveland's going to win two games in this series. I think Cleveland's going to blow out Boston in one of those games, like just peak blowout. And then people could be like, what the heck, Boston, are you for real? I think the Celtics win this in six. But I think it's not going to be an easy six. I think the Celtics are going to struggle throughout the series. And I think people are going to have their doubts. The Celtics should be in the NBA Finals. It is just definitive. They should have the plot. Historically, they should be in the Finals. I don't know what's going to happen when they get there. They should be there. But I think Cleveland's going to definitely make it hard for them in the series. And they'll win in a like very close game six. But they will win the series in six. Last but not least, the series everyone is most hyped to watch is the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Denver Nuggets. Um, Anthony Edwards already won game one, as I'm saying this, and game two is tonight as well. Um, Anthony Edwards is an outstanding young player. Like he, the way he, like just the way he dribbles, his fadeaways, bro, his athleticism, that is peak. And he has a main character aura. I don't know if he will be a main character, but he has the main character aura. Um, you know, the Nuggets, they always have these slow starts, and these slow starts definitely hurt them. The Nuggets definitely have their, you know, their hands full with this, you know, just the fact that the this is completely different from the Lakers. Like the Timberwolves have the personnel to actually win this series. Lakers didn't, so they can't play around with oh, let's be down 15, let's be down 10, and then let's just play catch up. They can't do that in this series. They have to start off much harder and much stronger. I'm looking at this, and this is one of those that can go either way. I think I'm gonna pick Nuggets and stuff. And the Timberwolves can definitely like F around and win this series, but I feel like the experience of the Nuggets and I feel Jokic is going to have one of those games and really, really, you know, push this into his direction. So um, I'm going to pick the experience. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say the Nuggets in seven. But man, the Timberwolves are going to make it very, very hard. Say like th these matchups are very interesting. None of them should be sweeps. Last playoffs was a bunch of sweeps gentlemen sweeps this should be much more interesting much more fun definitely excited to see more of this and see who gets the conference finals my picks celtics versus knicks nuggets versus mavericks and i think that's a pretty dope conference finals uh matchup so i'm definitely happy to see those if that happens but hey for more content like this make sure to like the video we are so close to 800 subscribers try and get to that 1000 subscriber goal so definitely help me out and hey, i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one and i'm out of here peace